This video is a demonstration of the law of conservation of energy in a circuit. If you look at page 128 of the textbook, you'll also see that this experiment is an example of using a voltmeter. To begin with, we're using four 1.5 volt cells and three resistors of different resistances, all in series, as you can see in the circuit diagram. The circuit diagram also shows the voltmeters which you should remember from the last video, are always put in parallel. This circuit is nice and simple. We have a four cells. Here is the positive terminal. The one kilo ohm resistor. We know that this is a one kilo ohm resistor because the bands are brown, black, black, brown. The next in series is a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor red, red, black, brown, and a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, yellow, violet, black, brown. Finally, the negative terminal. The first step is to find the potential difference across the cells. You'd expect it to be 6 because that's 4 times 1.5, but it's only 5.91 because in batteries the EMF tends to reduce with use. You'll see I have the voltmeter in the 20 volt range because the voltage is more than 2 volts. Now for the potential difference across the resistors. 0.74 volts for the 1.1 kilo ohm resistor. Note that the minus sign is just because the black lead is on the positive end and the red lead is on the negative end. It's the magnitude we care about here. The 2.2 kilo ohm resistor has potential difference of 1.64 volts across it. The 4.7 kilo ohm resistor has a potential difference of 3.51 volts across it. Now we're going to see what happens when we take one cell away. Well, actually I've done a bit of a swap because taking one cell away would break the circuit in the battery pack. So instead, I've put this 1.5 volt cell in series with these two 1.5 volt cells. This is the positive terminal. Resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, the positive terminal of the two cell pack, and to the negative terminal of the 1.5 volt cell. Now taking the potential difference across the cells is a bit more awkward. That's 4.36 volts. The potential difference across resistor 1 is 0.55 volts. The potential difference across resistor 2 is 1.21 volts. The potential difference across resistor 3, 2.59 volts. Here is a summary of the results. The potential difference across the cells, V, is equal to the sum of the potential differences across the resistors. The results show that this is true to within 0.02 volts in each case. You'll notice that the sum is a little bit smaller than the potential difference across the cells. This is because the multimeter tends to truncate. So for example, if the result was actually 0.559, even though it's closer to 0.56, it would say 0.55. So with an extra order of precision, then these results might have been even closer. Here are some things to try for yourself. 